Healdsburg was a very, very quaint, small town. And when I say small town, I mean literally the sort of small town that Norman Rockwell would write about or paint. I was raised here, I was brought here as an infant, and I grew up here, and this home has been a very special place for me all the days of my life. My father was Fred McMurray, and my mother was June Haver, who was a singer and a dancer and had a very illustrious career there. And dad, of course, had one of the most incandescent careers. He made over 100 pictures. He did numerous pictures with Walt Disney when Walt was alive, 12 years on My Three Sons. He had quite a career. Dad loved to fly fish. This was his favorite spot, right on the Russian River. When he first walked onto this ranch, it reminded him of Scotland, and he felt immediately at home here. And eventually he was able to buy the ranch in 1941. The first night when we would come up from L.A., it, it was very difficult for us to all sleep the first night because it was so quiet. And way off in the distance, the sound that was always so comforting to me was the sound of the train. The thing that's so remarkable about having a house with a tremendous personality is that it, it dictates your mood. I love the staircase going up to the bedrooms. It's very narrow, very deep steps. They all creak. Those stairs have incredible personality. The bedrooms were comfortable, and they had a wonderful smell of, of redwood and pine. And we could hear the heater kick on in the evening, and it was sort of a, our lullaby at night to put us to sleep. I used to sleep in the one room that is the smallest of the three, and it was like sleeping in a treehouse because when I would look out the window, I could see all the trees and it felt like I was floating, like I was in a sea of leaves. In the morning, very hot mornings, I would hear my dad going from room to room, shutting all the windows and shuttering up the house to keep it nice and cool. So it was a, it slumbered in the morning in hot summer days and it was beautiful in the evening. We opened up all the doors and windows and sat out on this porch and enjoyed summer nights. And, and in the winter, up until about November, then the rain would come and we were uh, enjoying our, our beautiful home inside. The den is my favorite room because that's where we spent most of our time as a family. The fireplace is always the centerpiece, I, th I think, of all rooms. And I used to sit until my, right in front, until my back was blood red, you know, reading my books and talking. And I loved that fireplace. And the little window seat where I would read and, and often homework as well. And the uh, paintings, my dad's um, pewter collection, his mule mugs up there, and a lot of books, first edition Zane Gray, uh, O. Henry's. Everything that surrounded us there uh, lent itself to comfort. My parents didn't remodel out at the ranch or change a lot of the decor or even move furniture around that much because in our family, uh, the furnishings, the favorite chairs, the favorite table, the favorite sofa, all were like old pals, old friends. And you don't unload your pals or your friends, especially if they're doing what you ask them to do. My parents always loved to cook, and they were in the kitchen all the time. Dad, one time I was doing my homework, this was down in Los Angeles, and he was watching Julia Child on her television show. And he said, sit down, and he told me to sit down next to him, and he said, watch her, you might learn something. <laughs> Out in our garden today, we have um, a, f a rose that's called Julia Child, in honor of Julia and my dad's passion for her cooking and her approach that cooking is part of your life and you know can define you know, a lifestyle. There are several really um, beautiful pieces in the kitchen, and each, of course, has a story. The dishes that are in the kitchen and on the buffet, uh, some originated with the original family here, the porters, and have been added to through the years. And the uh, little kitchen table, my dad loved that kitchen table because it only cost a quarter. And the reason it cost a quarter is that there's a, a bad burn mark on the top of it, and he found it in some antique store. 
And of course, the piece that he made, um, the drain board. It's a funny thing about my dad. I learned so many things about him because of what was here at the ranch. He just didn't talk about his life or himself or his childhood. Things came up when we would be discussing other things because I asked him, as I was washing dishes, how did he know to put a, what they call a lip in it so that the water would drain. And that's when I learned that he had washed dishes in a fraternity house as one of the five jobs he had when he was at Carroll College. I didn't know that. So that's how I found out about my father, about asking him things around the house. The porch swing that's swinging by itself because of this beautiful breeze right behind me, uh, my dad and I made. The pieces all came, but they were in a million pieces, and so Dad threw a canvas out on the front lawn, and we were out there sweating for hours putting this thing together. And finally, we got it right, and so we were sitting on it swinging to make sure the whole thing wouldn't fall down or we wouldn't pull any of the pieces from the roof down. And there was a glint out in the front lawn here, and Dad, you know, was kind of rolling his eyes, he went like this, and he said, go, Kate, go see what that is. <laughs> looked like an important piece. So he looked at it, and he tossed it like this, and he winked at me. He said, don't tell Mama. <laughs> Unfortunately, my parents have passed away, and, you know, our family is kind of scattered about. But I can still hear their voices here. I can still remember conversations. I can still remember holidays, and they will always be here in the walls, in the sound of the wind you know, in the smell of coffee in the morning.